I tried McDonald's Grandma McFlurry so you don't have to. Here's my review. I recently had the opportunity to try McDonald's newest dessert offering, the Grandma McFlurry. As a fan of McDonald's classic McFlurries, I was excited to see what this new twist on a beloved treat had to offer. The Grandma McFlurry is described as a delicious mix of vanilla soft serve ice cream, crushed graham crackers, and Grandma's famous homemade apple pie filling. It sounded like the perfect combination of sweet and savory flavors, so I couldn't wait to dig in. When I received my Grandma McFlurry, I was immediately struck by the presentation. The dessert came in a classic McDonald's McFlurry cup, topped with a generous amount of whipped cream and a sprinkling of graham cracker crumbs. The apple pie filling was visible throughout the cup, adding a pop of color and enticing aroma. I took my first bite of the Grandma McFlurry and was immediately hit with the taste of creamy vanilla ice cream. The texture was smooth and velvety, just as I had come to expect from a McDonald's McFlurry. The graham crackers added a satisfying crunch to each bite, giving the dessert an added dimension of texture. But the real star of the show was the apple pie filling. It was warm, sweet, and bursting with flavor. The chunks of apple were soft and tender, with just the right amount of cinnamon and spice. It truly tasted like something straight out of Grandma's kitchen. As I continued to eat the Grandma McFlurry, I found myself becoming more and more impressed by the combination of flavors. The vanilla ice cream provided a neutral base for the sweet and tangy apple pie filling, while the graham crackers added a hint of savory complexity. It was a perfect balance of flavors that kept me coming back for more. However, as much as I enjoyed the Grandma McFlurry, I couldn't help but notice a few drawbacks. The portion size was on the smaller side, especially considering the price point. I found myself wishing for a larger serving to truly satisfy my dessert cravings. Additionally, the whipped cream on top of the McFlurry was a bit overwhelming. While I appreciated the added touch of decadence, I found that it took away from the overall experience of the dessert. I would have preferred a lighter hand with the whipped cream, allowing the other flavors to shine through. Despite these minor issues, I still thoroughly enjoyed my Grandma McFlurry experience. It was a delicious and inventive take on a classic dessert, with a unique twist that set it apart from other offerings on the McDonald's menu. I would definitely recommend giving it a try if you're looking for a sweet treat that's a little out of the ordinary. In conclusion, I tried McDonald's Grandma McFlurry so you don't have to, and while it may not be a perfect dessert, it's definitely worth a try for anyone looking to satisfy their sweet tooth with a unique and delicious treat. So next time you find yourself at McDonald's, consider giving the Grandma McFlurry a chance. You won't be disappointed.